You're listening to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. And here's Russ. Hey, welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends and the house of Keller Williams that Sarah helped build. build. <laughs> Group <laughs> effort. Group effort. Sarah is an original gangster. She came on board, single mom, three kids, server, bartender. And you said in the last segment, you were just kind of bored and burnt out a little bit and looking for a change and liked real estate. So what we're trying to do today is talk to you, you, the listener that is sitting there for whatever reason, not a hundred percent satisfied in what you're doing for a living. So try to imagine helping people for a living. One of the things that is always difficult to do is make changes to create new habits. We've been programmed to think automatically without purposeful thinking and intention. Usually our brains on autopilot most of the time since we were a little kid. So when we tell our brain, Hey brain, I want to do something else. You've got a lot of years of programming that says, no, don't put your hand in there. It might get burned. Don't do this. Don't do that. And then you have these things called friends and family that love you and care about you. And they truly do, but they tell you not to take a chance. You might get hurt. Think about it. They say, uh, whoever they is, they say when you're zero to four years old, you operate at the level of a genius. And then things start to change. I'm convinced that that's because we say color in the lines. Get in line. Walk here. Don't walk there. Don't go there. Do this. Do that. We start getting told what to do. And we start conforming. And the next thing you know, we're a bunch of conformists, right? We're herd creature, we're herd mentality, which is one of the reasons I think because of our human nature, getting back together after 18 months of uh, Zoom land is feeling so inspiring. Well, if you're feeling any of those things, I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, we have the productivity coach that's going to change your life. Her name is Sarah Lopeman. She's an original gangster, like I said, and she is also a high producing real estate agent. And has been with me from day one. So Sarah, tell me why productivity coaching, that position, why you're so enthusiastic about that opportunity? I love that I get to wake up every morning and know that there is someone that I get to help, someone that I get to speak to, someone's hand that I can hold along the way, somebody that I can share a story with, someone that I can conquer fears with that day and then go to bed and wake up and do it again the next day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's exciting. Yeah. And you've seen, you've seen what Keller Williams can do for people. And you said it earlier, startup companies, even companies as large as this were individually owned and operated. Right. Right. And I'm the first one to tell you that I'm failing my way forward as the operating partner and the designated broker and investor of this company. I am failing my way forward. I think it's kind of hilarious to me because I always had a small crew in right. my career, you know, seven, eight, 10 people, special forces unit of real estate. I'm leading the charge on horseback with a sword and a shield, you know, <laughs> just right. daily day and grinding. And now we're at almost 80 agents and climbing. And it's taken me some time to figure out how to do that, how to delegate, how to follow a system and not reinvent the wheel every day. With, sure. with just pure inspiration and motivation in the trenches. So now you got to scale and to scale, you need a system. And so I am so excited that you've accepted the role because when we surround ourselves collectively with energetic, optimistic people that are not so into armchair quarterbacking and pointing out our mistakes, but are into exciting opportunities to improve. Sure. It's a mindset, right? Absolutely. There's the people that bitch and then there's the people that, you know, have a problem for all every solution. And then there's the people that go, sure. Hey, you know what? We did it that way, but we, and we fell on our face. So let's go do it this way. Right. I say the difference between people that sit there and think about, I can't do something or launch something until I have all my ducks in a row because I don't want to look unorganized. I think they are frozen through analysis. Sometimes you got to kick in the door. Right. Sometimes you just got to go, I'm taking it and I'm going to make mistakes and get punched in the face and I'm going to go forward anyway. And I love that you're open minded to that, like as a like raw passion. Right. But then following systems like now it's time three years later, you know, probably took most people three months, took me three years to learn how to 
embrace that and how to handle things. And, and that's the one thing that, that you know about our company. I, I'm committed to improvement. And I'm just pumped that you're involved in this at, at a leadership level now because we have some, uh, we've made some personnel changes, but we have, you know, sometimes what got you to where you're at is not what's going to get you to where you need to be. Of course. And that's what this is all about. This, these adjustments that we're making in personnel, this adjustment we're making in psychology and our intention and leaning into different resources that we're going to help you help other people. Um, I'm just, I'm thrilled about it. So I sent you a picture not long ago uh, that was from the past and, and you responded and you said that was my first listing. It was. That was so crazy. You <laughs> yeah. sent that to me and I went, oh, that was a lifetime ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it right? was just a few years ago. So talk, talk, to, talk to people that maybe have, ha, don't, don't know, understand, right? You know, we understand, but they don't understand. So how would you describe it to them that how your life has changed, how, how you see the world maybe a little differently than you did to help them, you know, to understand what you've done? Well, like you said, you, you don't know what you don't know. You know, and so, I mean, every day is new. I, re <laughs> I remember uh, hearing multiple times in my first few months or first year of real estate, everyone would say there's not one deal that is going to be the exact same as the next. And I thought, okay, you've done how many hundreds of deals? Like, oh, that just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> and it is truly every single day in real estate is something different. Um, sometimes there's some bumps that you got to overcome and, you know, sometimes you're just on cloud nine and are just couldn't be more excited, you know, for the next day. So it like with anything in life, I think, but, um, I think that's what is probably the most exciting thing to me and what keeps me in love with selling real estate and being involved with real estate is that every day truly is different. Yeah. And the real estate game itself keeps changing. Right. Think, think about a year ago, we're down 75% in inventory from this year, one year ago. Yeah, I remember, this is a fun time to be in real estate. Yeah, you know, and it's hard when you lead a bunch of people, right? Because I can remember about a year ago, I was running a sales rally. You, you might remember this. And I was kind of harsh. And I didn't mean to be harsh, but that was the reports that I got back that people were feeling like I was being a little intense. And all I was really saying from my heart was, look, I see this market dwindling like we're fishing out of a stock pond. People have unlocked the ability to move anywhere. They can make the same amount of money now that they used to have to live in the city to make. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They want to live where it's nice. Right. Uh, less traffic, less homelessness, less taxation, less riots at the time, right? More sunshine. Uh, more sunshine, <laughs> lakes, rivers, mountains, clean air, clean water. And all of a sudden, so it's not like complete rocket science. You're going to have a lot more people that feel like they can now move here. And at the same time, we have the lowest interest rates in history. So I, in that sales rally, I remember telling people, Sometimes if you do what you've always done, you won't get what you've always gotten because the market is shifting mm -hmm. and shifting markets. I mean, that's why Gary Keller wrote the book called Shift, right? right? And that's going to be in, and that's in your program that that's what you, one of the things you study. And it's kind of cool because when you're with a group of people that are collectively working together, you can really find answers to problems that if you were on your own, would be really challenging because a lot of the stuff is brand new, but together, you know, you combine forces, you combine wisdom, and then we, you know, as a leadership team can help our people. So to me, every challenge creates this massive opportunity because everybody else is dealing with the same challenge, right? right? And to get your unfair share of the market really comes down to the basics. And that's why success is boring. Sure. Right. Because it's like, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's, it's a really funny business. If you, if you motivate yourself with your big, why, like, uh, maybe not for everybody, but for most of us, I think if I said, Hey, I want to make five grand a month, or I want to make 10 grand a month. Money alone is nice. Nobody's allergic to money, but if money is the only motivator, when those days that you don't want to get up, maybe you had a few too many glasses of wine at the winery, maybe you had, you're out on the boat, you're kind of had a lot of sun, the next day you don't want to go, and you're like, oh, I know that family wants me to help them find a home, but I'm tired. <laughs> and so if money is your only motivator, maybe it's not a big enough why. But if you think about their three-year-old daughter, and you think about the, the dream that they have to be a homeowner, and you think, you know what, I'm going to help this many people this month. And it starts with right here. Then you get your butt out of bed and you go help them. Absolutely. Right. Because that's a, that, to me, that big why is much more inspiring. And how many careers have unlimited potential 
with a very, very, like 90 hours to get into it, the business, right? To mm -hmm. get a license and a very, like a thousand bucks or less. Mm -hmm. You're in a business that has unlimited financial potential, unlimited ability to save time and be flexible and help people at the same time. Uh, there isn't any. And that's the fascinating thing about real estate is you can you can get into real estate and literally go any direction that you want with it. Yeah. And that's I, the, the power of Keller Williams. It's like, what direction do you want to go? OK, I got 180,000 right. people that I can lean into. Right. Now, let me ask you this. In, in all honesty, have you ever asked a Keller Williams agent, uh, maybe online emails at different conferences for something? And they said, what are you asking me for? We're, I'm not I don't work for you. No, <laughs> that's not the culture, is it? No, we might have an issue. Yeah, there. it just doesn't happen. Like I, I, I was on a call yesterday where while the person was teaching from Austin, Texas, I was Facebook messaging the broker right. who has been doing some things at a very high level. And I said, hey, I'd like you to come on my sales rally on Zoom in Wenatchee, Washington. And she goes, oh, what? And I said, Wenatchee, Washington. That's where our market center is, but it's on Zoom. Can you help us up? Sure. I right. go, what, would you mind being on the radio show with me? Sure. And this person's at a high, high level. While she's teaching the class, I'm doing this simultaneously. And I'm just like, how many companies are like that? None. And it's for free. No, she'll do it for free. Yeah. Just help. When we come back on the third segment, we're going to wrap up Sarah Lopeman and talk a little bit more about her productivity coaching program. But I'm thrilled. I'm excited. We'll see you right back here in a couple seconds. Keller Williams.